Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Man, today guys are going to take a look at just a super cool 1963 Plymouth Valiant. Uh, my buddy down in Tennessee has nicknamed this car the Vagrant. Uh, so I'm going to have to order a, a custom front uh, license plate for this car that will go with it. Uh, super cool car guys this is a uh, custom build uh, somebody's thrown a ton of money at this car beautiful tuxedo black paint it's got red leather interior uh, really nicely done um, car came out of Tennessee so it's got a good solid Tennessee body and man you want to talk about a fun car to bang the gears as you can see the weather today, we're not going to run it down the road because it'll just make an absolute mess of this car. And unfortunately, the next few days, we have nothing but bad weather. Matter of fact, this is the best we're going to have for a few days. But man, is this car fun to drive. Again, slick black paint. You can see it's got a little bit of custom pinstriping on it. A lot, a lot of money put into this car. Uh, chrome and stainless are very nice. You know, other than if there's only 500 miles actually put on this car since it was built. Original uh, front grille, so you can nitpick that a little bit. Uh, paint is really nice, really slick. Unfortunately, it's getting snowed on right now. Bumpers are very nice. They've definitely either re chrome those or bought them. And I'm going to tell you, this thing's got a 273 cubic inch small, uh, small block motor in it. Guys, this sounds like a, a pound in big block. This thing just hits. He said it's 275 horse. I gotta believe it's 275 to the rear tires because this thing rocks. Yeah, and sorry about the snow, guys. Kind of waited all day. This is the best it's actually been. But pretty, pretty paint. I like the pinstriping on it. Again, look how nice the, the bezels are and stuff. Somebody threw a lot of money into this build, guys. This is wicked cool. This is a late model Challenger uh, fuel cap. Car's nice and straight down the sides. It's got a, uh, I believe it's a 295 rear tire on this thing. It's, it's mini tub. It's got 10 inch rear coys on it. Again, a couple little touch up marks. Nitpick. It looks like they ding that bumper there. But uh, really nice car. Really nice car. Again, it's got a mini tub in it. Four-wheel disc brakes. Those are 15-inch coys. Again, 10-inch wide in the rears. This car is just wicked cool. Again, 273 cubic inch. Mopar small block. He said it's 275 horse. That's got to be the rear tires, guys. Holly four barrel. It's got an Edelbrock Torker aluminum intake. You can see stock exhaust manifolds. It's got a Holman Mooney custom ground camshaft in it. Uh, four speed manual trans, aluminum radiator. It's got air. Air blows cold. Four wheel disc brakes. External um, uh, oil filter on it. Just a really cool car. And like you say, fun to drive, man. This thing is fun to bang the gears on. See how slick the paint is? It's got uh, remote door poppers. It's doggone snow. Again, pretty paint. Mm. 
Mirrors are nice. Power uh, leather bucket seats. Just a driver's side power. It's got a wood wheel. It's got all custom auto meter, auto meter gauge cluster in there. Aftermarket sound system. Again, it's got aftermarket uh, vintage AC, Hearst competition shifter. Uh, I believe it's Flowmaster dual exhaust. It is a 72, what is it, 72 duster. Uh, uh, 373 sure grip rear end with a uh, TA performance aluminum girdle in the rear. It's all finished in the trunk in here. They relocated the battery. It's got a little on off switch. Just a really cool car, man. You want to talk about a great conversation piece. It's got a new fuel tank underneath it. Yeah, I dig it, man. This kind of stuff's just cool. You just don't see stuff like this. You pull into a car show, people go nuts for stuff like this. Seats are nice. I'll tell you one thing, you can be about six foot eight. This thing, that, that driver's seat goes way back. Again, it's all power. Sorry, we got that mat over there on that side. It's just so slushy and nasty that uh, it's hard to keep stuff clean. That's a cool little car, man. What do you hear? What till Dale fires this thing up? Should we just click the little button there at the bottom? Okay, I'm gonna kind of to kick it on. It works so uh, it, 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 it all blows cold and everything. It's okay. Go ahead and give it a little rev. Dale, give it a little rev. Go ahead and shut that down. Nope, I'll get that. Thank you, Steve. That's a cool little car. It's one thing we'll have to check when you start when you turn the key on, it goes on, and then once you start it, it goes back down to tack works. 558 miles in there. Uh, I'm gonna have to check on the parking brake. I don't think oh it's got full with this brake, so no parking brake. Dale remembers what we gotta do. Go ahead and hit your brakes, Dale. Yep. Left turn signal. Reverse. I know the reverse lights work. There they go. Give a little rev, Dale. What a cool little car. Radio works. Again, your blower motor's down here. That's your bottom control for your knit works. No on the wipers, guys. Got no wipers. Turn signals all work. 
Ken, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram or our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe. Go ahead and back up. Uh, definitely subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. Uh, that uh, that uh, you, you can do that by clicking a little button there at the bottom. That way you can get a notification every time I post a new video. Go ahead and roll forward, yeah. That's bad right there. Have a great day, guys.